Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and if you're not, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. It's a red button below, it's 100% free and it means a lot to me as usual. I hope you're all doing super super well. I'm actually back from Milan and as you can see I have my new haircut. My hair is actually quite short compared to usual. You will see in next week's video that I had pre-filmed that my hair is quite long and that in this one my hair is quite short and I also got like little side bangs. But anyways, if you haven't seen my Milan vlog from last week where I literally went to the hairdresser or shopped, saw some fashion week um, craziness and actually saw Kim Kardashian. And basically I did shop for a few things and at first I didn't really want to do a haul because I figured maybe I don't have enough things to show. And in the end, I actually do have quite a few things I want to share with you. So there's a lot of different things and I'm going to start right away. I'm like, I'm just going to get into it with I think something a bit less exciting and then we're going to go into like the beauty and the fashion and random things I got. So the very first thing that I want to share with you is this magazine that I just got like at the airport the day I was leaving from Milan at the airport Linate airport and it's the Vanity Fair Italian um, one I got it really only because of Kylie Jenner I was really searching for this magazine everywhere in Milan and couldn't find it up until the day that I left at the airport and I saw it and I was like I need to get it because I really like Kylie Jenner I really really like her and I love getting magazines where my, my favorite celebrities are on the cover and this I really wanted to get it because I just love putting magazines around like my place you know especially as I said if there's my favorite celebrity so her photo shoot is super super cute inside I love it and like literally the magazine is like two euros in Italy which is nothing yeah she has a beautiful photo shoot inside so um, I think you can still obviously find it because this is the March one and then I actually went to the Rinascente the Annex it's called and basically the Annex uh, Rinascente Annex is kind of the Rinascente where you have a lot of like niche brands uh, more premium brands because the regular Rinascente that we all know it's obviously very luxury and um, they have like mainly luxury brands there however in the Annex you have a lot of niche brands so I had to get a few masks because I love masks so much and I love K-beauty as you guys know I didn't get much from that section because I am going to Asia in a few weeks actually in like two months or so however I got these very cute masks which actually look like little uh, milk um, I don't remember the name of it um, it's not like a bottle Anyways, if I remember, I'll put it on the screen, but it looks like these little milk packages, whatever. And basically, I got a moisturizing one that is coconut. And then I also got a chocolate one, which is for smoothing. And then I got the pink one, my favorite, which is for brightening, and it's strawberry milk. And then I got the regular white milk hydrating one. So I'm very excited to try them. I hope you can see. I'll try to put, like, maybe a few B-rolls to show you better the packaging. But I just got four. They were, like, two euros each, which is... I think like a normal price for um, skincare, you know, masks and stuff. But yeah, I really recommend you guys go check out the Rinascente Annex if you're in Milan and you want to get a few K-beauty, K-skincare stuff, like they have a lot. So got these four masks. Now I'm going to show you also what I got from Sephora. I obviously um, already used the products you will see from the packaging and I already used them. So I'm able to give you a quick review on what I think of those two products I got. Basically in the vlog, as you saw, I was so excited because um, REM Beauty by Ariana Grande is finally in Europe and easy to shop at Sephora, which I'm so excited because honestly paying so much for the shipping and not able to get much because of taxes and stuff was really annoying. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of her brand, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of REM Beauty. Like I just feel like the products are not such great quality to be honest and I don't really like the colors um it's just not really my vibe like I have to say I did a video last year and most of the products I just didn't really use or I'm still trying to like get through it but like I just didn't like it so much so I don't know if it's because it was like the first products and you know maybe it was just not the formula was not good the colors were not so great I got one thing which I heard a lot about online but I got the lip oil which is like I heard about it so much online especially on TikTok I heard a lot about the lavender one which I believe doesn't have any particular color don't quote me on that if I'm wrong I'm sorry I'll put it on the screen but I believe it's just like a clear one at least when I tried it in Sephora it was clear so and then they she has also like two others like there's kind of a blue one but I, I it was not at Sephora like it was not available and then there's like another kind of peachy one and then there's a pink one which is raspberry which is the one I got and I've used it already in Milan a few times I have to say I love it first of all I love the scent I don't know like raspberry is not so strong not like the Clarence ones which I feel like the scents are stronger than this one but there's a little scent the color is perfect because it's a bit pink it's also quite nice because it looks a bit like a lip gloss because it is a lip oil and you don't have to apply it actually so often it, I realize it actually lasts a long time so yeah and the applicator I mean I'm gonna try to show you everything 
you know with close-ups but it's really really amazing um such a nice applicator i'm not gonna apply it now because i have lipstick and i don't want to mess up the applicator and it's just not going to show you the actual color anyways but i really like this product i would repurchase it in a heartbeat I'd get another lip product because you know I, I just needed another lip product i guess i don't know but i got something from rare beauty which i've never tried rare beauty before because i think that i don't know i've, I've never been able to purchase it online i was never really attracted to it and i've heard so much about it also on tiktok and you know with all the selena situation right now and drama i only see this on my for you feed right now i feel like um the packaging is so gorgeous and i've heard so much about the good quality of products now they are more pricey than rem they're like i think around 10 euros more than you know rem if i had to like compare the lip products for example i found this one which i'm obsessed with and i applied it already so many times now it doesn't last so long but compared to other lip products that i have it definitely lasts quite long like i would say that you know if i compare it to like a drugstore product and um, a Dior lipstick, the Rare Beauty is like in the middle, like it stays for a while. It might not be as strong as like Dior because obviously not same price, not same quality and all that, but it will stay definitely longer than a regular drugstore product for sure. So I basically caught the, I'm gonna try to read it in English because it's also in French, random, with gratitude dewy lip balm. And I got the shade Empathy. So it's a bit of a lip balm, but at the same time a lipstick. This is also why maybe you have to reapply it a bit more. But I hope it's not so horrible because I've used it so much like the lipstick does not look good. It does not look brand new. But first off, beautiful packaging. Um, I have to say one of my favorite packagings ever. And then the color, uh, you won't be able to see it here. I'll just put a close up, but the color is perfect. It's exactly the color I want my lipsticks to, to be. And this is a bit of a lip balm too. I mean, it is actually a, a colored, you know, lip balm. So it's going to obviously hydrate your lips. And that's what I love. I always talk about that for every single beauty product I own, I feel like. But if I can get a beauty product that's going to, you know, be nice to wear, but at the same time hydrating you got me like I'm gonna buy it so it's hydrating puts like beautiful little tint on your lips it stays for quite some time for lip balm so so yeah so these are the two lip products I got from Sephora now that's it for the beauty I'm gonna show you um, some clothes and I'll finish with the little Dolce Gabbana thing I got so it's not a expensive item but it's something very different and special I think I'm gonna start with I never really show this on my channel but I'm like you know whatever I'm gonna start with Victoria's Secret actually I didn't get much from Victoria's Secret because I always feel like it's very expensive compared to what you can get online on Victoria's Secret like the stores are just full price and there's not always really good deals and I just didn't really find anything special except that they did have a very cool deal one really nice one where you could buy um, five panties for the price of two which is always good to know and I wanted to share them with you because they're still available probably also online and they're so cute and it's not something I usually show but I don't really care right now like I just want to show you because it's very aesthetic and I mean we're between girls so it's not a big deal I'll try to just show you like this but I got first of all this gorgeous one which is like beautiful pink little flowers. Then I got very similar styles. They're all the similar styles. I got kind of the same one in this purpley color. Got it also in black, cause super cute. And I got it also in blue. This one is so beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little flowers and it's a bit satin, so it's super nice. All of them have these little, like little, I don't know, gems. Like this is a little butterfly. All of them have like something like this in front. It's very cute. This is like the V of Victoria's Secret. Did I mess up the lighting by doing this? I don't know. And the last one I got is like a bit of a, not as sexy as the others, but very cute too with the colors, official colors of Victoria's Secret. Love, 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 love those little panties. So if you can get your hands on the deal, I really recommend it because it's really worth it so that's that then continuing with clothing even though this is more shoes now my dad was really questioning my style and my taste at that moment but I'm just so sure that I'm gonna be able to make the most of these shoes they will probably remind you of Miu Miu even though it doesn't look anything like the Miu Miu ones but I think it's definitely inspired basically from Bershka I got these gorgeous shoes guys so cute i'm sorry there's still the tag um but basically those are such cute shoes um as you can see super inspired by ballet they're quite comfortable to be honest but i wouldn't wear them for hours in like the heat and all that because i think it would be very messy but the perfect pink color honestly i think with a pair of nice like jeans it would be really nice maybe not skinny jeans but more like uh, mom jeans or loose jeans maybe with a very long dress and i paid them like 30 euros which was not that bad and yeah so i'm super excited they're from bershka as i said i'll try to like um obviously i'll try to link everything i talked about in the description box below i 
went to Dolce Gabbana house or casa and as you can see I got this beautiful beautiful little bag from Dolce Gabbana but basically my dad really wanted to get his hands on the Dolce Gabbana and Bialetti collaboration which is a collaboration of like Dolce Gabbana home or casa with the very famous brand that does coffee but also mainly coffee machines and my dad's a huge fan of these Italian coffee machines and when we passed by the store in Milan that is absolutely stunning like if you can go see it inside it's crazy like the prints the craziness of Dolce Gabbana is really shown in that store but I really wanted to get a panettone which they did with probably this brand called Flasconaro I think I'm not so sure I'm gonna show it to you because the box I'm gonna keep it like once I ate what's inside I'm gonna keep it this is the beautiful box look at this like I could put a bunch of things in there just leave it you know as decoration and this is a panettone panettone is like um Italian delight like pastry dessert so good um, I'm obsessed with panettone I eat it all the time around Christmas time but I know that they have it also like the whole year long this one has obviously some lemon inside and it's all from like Sicily the ingredients so I'm very excited to try it I'll try to put a picture of what a panettone looks like it's a small one and obviously I think you mainly pay for the collaboration it costs like 15 euros but to be honest for Dolce Gabbana I wouldn't say that's like crazy I really wanted to share everything with you guys so let me know what you thought about this haul did you like it what are you excited about purchasing if you want to purchase something similar to me and I think that's pretty much it for today's video I will see you obviously in my next one next week and I hope you're having a great day or a great night and yeah that's pretty much it so I'll see you next week in my next video bye everyone